Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to learn unit 9. In this unit, we will focus on vocabulary, nouns with ing, and adjectives plus prepositions. Now let's start with the vocabulary. The first topic is holiday activities. Surfing. Surfing is the sport of riding a wave towards the shore while standing or lying on a surfboard. Bungee jumping. The activity of leaping from a high place while secured by a long rubber band around the ankles. Rock climbing is an activity in which participants climb up, down, or across natural rock formations or artificial rock walls. The next one, snowboarding. The sport of sliding downhill on a snowboard, as you can see in the picture. Skiing is the action of traveling over snow on skis. Snorkeling. The practice of swimming through a body of water while equipped with a diving mask, a shaped breathing tube called a snorkel. Adventure playground. It is a playground containing objects or structures such as ropes, slides, and tunnels for children to play on or in. Museum. A museum is a building in which objects of historical, scientific, or cultural interest are stored and exhibited. Wildlife Park. is an enclosed area of land where uncaged wild animals roam fairly freely in conditions designed to their natural habitat as closely as possible. A theme park is an amusement park with a unifying setting or idea. The second part Descriptive adjectives. Shimmering. Shimmering is something that reflects light in a beautiful way. For example, I love the shimmering white sand. Sapphire. A sapphire is a blue color of a precious stone or jewel. For example, we touch the sapphire blue ocean. Salty is the air around the sea. Example, she smells the warm salty air. Ancient means very, very old. Example, the class will explore the ancient history of Rome. Worn. Worn is something that has been used a lot. Example. These are my favorite shoes, but they are very worn. Let's look at the senses. They are taste, hearing, sight, smell, and touch. Now it's time for nouns with ing. Let's have a look. Nouns with ing. We can use the ing form of a verb such as noun. Nouns ending with ing are often words describing actions. 
Nouns with ing are regularly uncountable nouns. They can be used as the subject of a verb. For example, learning Spanish is not easy. Or they can be used as the object of a verb, such as we enjoy learning Spanish. Let's look at some examples. I would like to try snorkeling. She really loves skating and skiing. Have you ever tried bungee jumping? You can get fit by cycling regularly. Swimming is very good for your health. The next subject, adjectives plus prepositions. Now let's have a look at adjectives plus prepositions. We often use prepositions after adjectives to show how people feel about things. Some adjectives go with certain prepositions. There are no grammatical rules for which preposition is used with which adjective. Here are the most common prepositions that follow adjectives in this way. They are about, in, by, for, from, at, of, to, and with. In this unit, the most common Adjective prepositions are in, about, and by. We will look at them. The first one, adjective plus in. Let's see the examples. The teacher was disappointed in the behavior of the class. As you can see, disappointed in. She was highly skilled in physics and Chemistry. Here, our adjective plus preposition is skilled in. Sam is interested in English music. Here, we use interested with the preposition in. Mary is very involved in volunteer work. Here, we use again involved with in. The next preposition is about, adjective plus about. Let's see, please. Examples. I felt sad about the decision. Here we use sad with the preposition about. He is nervous about the presentation. Here again, we can see that nervous is used with about. She is excited about the new job. Here again, we use the adjective excited with the preposition about. They were worried about the exam. The next preposition is by. Adjective plus by. Let's see the examples, please. I was fascinated by the musicians. As you see, fascinated is used with the preposition by. She was amazed by the new film. Here again, we use by with the adjective amazed. My friend was surprised by my performance. As you can see, we use with the adjective surprise, the preposition by. They were not impressed by your decision. Here again, we used by with the adjective impressed. Now it's time to practice. Let's see. Here, we will fill in the blanks with the prepositions by about, or, 
in. Let's have a look. Lee is really excited starting to school. Is it by, is it about, or is it in? Number two, if you study something you are interested by, about, or in, you will do well. Number three, we were shocked. The decision, is it by, about, or in? Everyone knows it's wrong. Let's look at number four. There's nothing to be nervous. It will be fun. Number five. We were fascinated the stone figures. Number six, the class was really interested in science. Number seven, they felt very sad the problem. And number eight, when she got to the zoo, she was amazed the animals. You have time to do it. You have to fill in the blanks with by about or in. Okay, we can look at the answers. Let's look at number one. Lee is really excited about starting to school. As we know, we use the adjective excited with the preposition about. Don't forget, please. Excited about. Number two. If you study something you are interested in, you will do well. Here, of course, we know that we use interested with the preposition in. Number three. We were shocked by the decision. Everyone knows it's wrong. Here, we will use by with the word shocked. Let's look at number four. There's nothing to be nervous about. It will be fun. As we learned, we use nervous with the preposition about. Number five. We were fascinated by the stone figures. Of course, here we use by with the adjective fascinated. Number six. The class was really interested in science. Yes, here the answer is again interested in. They felt very sad about the problem. Don't forget we use sad with the preposition about. Number eight. When she got to the zoo, she was amazed by the animals. We use the preposition by with the adjective amazed. Now you can check your answers. Thanks for watching.